you have a huge crush on this girl or you fantasize about her however you have no idea how to say this or how to ask her out you overthink about what she could say what if she says this or what if she says no and finally you ask her out all awkwardly and she says she doesn't see you that way you go home all sad and embarrassed back in my sophomore year of high school I it was a school dance I asked this girl to dance when I got there I saw her and she was walking with one of her friends and as soon as I saw her I knew that I had to ask her out to dance then I went in and one of I was speaking to one of my friends I was telling him how I wanted to ask this girl out and then this one guy he somehow he fucking noticed he overheard us I guess so then he was like oh well, what do you do you want me to like do you want me to like ask her for you and I'm like no dude what the fuck I'm gonna do it myself and then obviously like they it was he he was speaking so loud I guess to the point that they all noticed so then I got up I asked her she rejected me I asked her friend and she rejected me as well However, I did not react in the way that most people would or the most uh, the way that most people would think I did. I said, okay, and carried on. I danced with another girl. I mean, it wasn't the girl that I, that I wanted to dance with, but I danced with another girl. I carried on. Life kept on going. I didn't put much attention into it. Like, yeah, I liked her and, and she was pretty and all, but oh well. My life does not revolve around that. So I just carried on and then... I dance the night all and dance the night away and then long story short a few weeks a few months passed by and that same girl that same girl that I asked the one that rejected me she had a crush on me she liked me back she thought I was cute and long story short she became my girlfriend and she's the girl that I'm currently with and yeah I I became she became my girlfriend without even without me even trying without me even like putting so much attention attention and effort into it because that is how a real high value man deals with rejection that's how he deals with rejection and he carries on like a real masculine man does and you see I specifically said that I did not react how most people would how most people would think I did because like I said that is how a masculine man a high value man deals with rejection a high value man does not put so much attention so much interest or so much value onto a girl just because like yeah if he likes her a high value man he'll go up to her and he'll ask her out and he'll do it confidently because he knows that he does not care what other people think and he knows that he even if she says no he misses 100% of the shots that he does not take so instead, he takes the chance because he knows that if he doesn't ask her out, then that's basically him rejecting himself in the first place. And he'll never know if she actually liked him or not. So he takes the chance. He confidently asks for her number or out to dance or whatever it is. And if she rejects him, if that girl shows no interest in him, that high value man, he does not, he does not, even, he's not even faced by this. Because he knows that life carries on. He knows that he has other goals. He has other things to attend to. Like, yeah, if he, if, like, you win some and you lose some. He sees this as something to be grateful for because he did it. And he sees this as a way, as fuel to become better, a much better man than he is right now. Like, not in a way to, like, make her feel bad, but, like, just because. Because why not? Why not be the best, absolute best man that you can and use this, use anything you can as fuel? So therefore, he carries on. He knows that he has goals. He has other things to attend to. His life does not revolve around her. And he and and especially whenever that girl does not show any interest in him, he does not get faced by this. He does not put so much thought into it, because he knows that if he continues on asking her out, and he's like, "Oh, come on, please," and then he asks her out again the next week, and the next week, and the next week, that just makes him seem desperate, and that he has nothing going for him. Don't be this guy, because trust me when I say this that the more that a girl ins the, the more that a guy insists, the less attractive that he seems to the girl. However, the less interested that he seems, and the more harder to get to get with that the guy is, the much the much more attractive that he will seem to that girl. And that is how a high value man deals with rejection. He carries on, he meditates, he journals, he hits the gym, he continues making more money. Because that is what a high value man does. That is how you must do it.
Because the reason why you feel so scared to ask her out, the reason why you're so scared of rejection, the reason why you overthink so much is because you care too much of what people think and you lack the confidence. And why is this? Because you haven't worked hard. You haven't put in the work to improve your looks, your physique, make more money and do things like this which increase your value as a man. You have not stepped outside of your comfort zone. And luckily for you, there is only one way to do it. By doing it. Ask her out. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. Don't care what other people think. Like I said, you miss 100% of the chances that you don't take. So if you don't simply don't take it, then you're rejecting yourself first. And you can live with the pain of discipline, the pain of putting in the hard work, of doing it and then asking her out and maybe her rejecting you, which is temporary. Which at least that way you'll be, you will be able to use this as fuel and be grateful that you did because now you know. Or you can live with the pain of regret, knowing that... You never asked her out, you never got an answer out of her, therefore she left with another man who had the balls to go ask her out when it could have been you and he had children, she had children with this guy and they became a loving family and she's so much happier with another man which is not you because you simply did not you simply decided to stay in your comfort zone because you were scared to do it. Don't end up like this. So work on yourself first, meditate, journal, build your physique, hit the gym, become stronger, make more money, and then just do it. Once you build up this confidence, just do it. Step outside of your comfort zone like a real masculine man does. Because, and even if she rejects you, see it as something positive because that is what a high value masculine man does. He's positive. He doesn't see this, he doesn't see obstacles, he sees opportunities to grow and become better. The best, the absolute best man that he could be. He finds the win in every loss and he sees the good side. He sees the positive side to every single thing. And he uses this as, he uses this as fuel to become better and stronger. Think about this and do it for your future self.